गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग señores y señores se va a empezar la clase y viene el Santiago con su fútbol estudiantes que viven la intensidad de la clase <ríe> el estrés de la clase dele pues no se quede corto estamos en una clase enorme pero en serio <ríe> ay Dios mío <ríe> bárbaro Todos los que vimos el mundial este día, pues, sorpresa, sorpresa, sorpresa. ¿Qué pasó ahora? Alemania perdió contra Japón. No. ¿Contra quién? Japón. Y es en inglés. Dios santos. Andan mal, pues. Bueno. Costa Rica goleada, 7 a 0 contra España. <risa> Mejor que ya ni vayan, men. <risa> ¿Se imaginan el Salvador si hubiera ido? No, hombre, sería morir a cero. No hubo nada que ver. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, everybody. People, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Are you watching the games like for this World Cup 2022? Yes, teacher. Surprise. Surprise. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for these ticos, right? That was, that wasn't good. Okay, so um, they couldn't, they couldn't get one goal. I was expecting a goal from them, but they couldn't do it. Um, today we have Wednesday, the 23rd. Okay. Are you thinking of buying something on Black Friday, Anneli? Yes. Yeah. ¿Qué pasó con el Black Friday, teacher? Like, no are creo you, en el Black Friday. Are you thinking on buying something on Black Friday? Mm -mm. No. Not really. No. Okay, no. Maybe, no. Do, you have, do you have children? Yes. Well, oh. not on children. Uh, one teenager <laughs> y one adult. Oh, my, oh. my oh, son. Do you have, do you have grandchildren? 20, 20 holes. Um, and other children. And, 14. Oh, no, oh, that's very good. Do you have grandchildren? No. Uh, oh. My husband. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That sounds very good. Thank my so husband much. is uh, my children. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's very good. Yeah. That's true. Because they always say that we are the children. Because they are better than the children. Mentiras. Yes. Como no. yes. Ya, todo el mundo está de acuerdo conmigo. Son más niñones cuando se enferman también, qué barbaridad. Lo que pasa es que nosotros nos pegamos más la enfermedad que ustedes. Más fuerte, más fuerte. Con catarro y andan con gorro, tomando té y andan con fans y uno con gripe, con COVID y uno anda jalando las cosas del mercado, haciendo la comida, haciendo la limpieza. No, madre, ni te digo. Se quedan pachitos. Adeli. Hola, Adeli. Sindicatos, creo ya, ya estuvo. Hasta testamento quieren dejar, ve Adeli. Sí, como hasta despidiéndose de la mara, andan con una gripita. Let's continue, no, no les haga caso. Yeah, believe me, it's difficult. Like, um, that, that's why we go, whenever we got the flu or whenever we got COVID, we go to East and we get like Sunday off. You know what I mean? Y nos agarramos todos los días que nos dan. That's, that's the way we do, right? Every time we get sick, we go to East and we get Sundays off just to rest. Y los hombres siempre nos agarramos los días, right? It's like yes. always. The power of the family. Always. Okay. So it's nice to have you people. I wish you the best. You know, life is difficult, I know, but we're still alive, right? We got to enjoy every single moment. Eat food. That is something that I love of being alive, right? If you have children, that is another motivation thing that you can have, right? Or if you have grandchildren, that's another thing, right? And I want them because next week we, we will get paid. Okay, so I want them. 
because we still like we need to work this week and next week we get paid. Uh, for today's um, class, we're gonna have uh, we will keep working with this section, which is section number. Oh, mire, hoy tengo diferente esta cosa. Oh, that's good. So we have section number three. We keep working with let's celebrate. We're talking about celebrations. What are the things that we do when we have this celebration day? Right. So we are going to work on these things today. So um, as you may know, this is intermediate module number two. So your level of English is, is, is somehow is very strong, right? So you can participate. Um, sometimes I forget and I speak a lot of English. So I'm sorry for that. Avíseme. Uh, if you don't get something, right? Because sometimes I just speak English and I I forget about about that. So uh, let me know anytime if, if you get confused. And this is class number seven, okay? Uh, before we get into the material, um, I would like to take the attendance. So when you hear your beautiful name, say present um, here. Today, we're gonna have Wednesday, the 23rd of November. Oh, November is really fast, right? I don't know why. Ale Lee, you're here, right? Welcome. Nice to have you. Ana Rodriguez de Perez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Ana Cecilia Romero. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Ana Janira Mendoza. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, Bridget Lisette Erazo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carmen Escamilla. Carmen Escamilla. No, she's absent. Oh, I'm sorry. What about Cesar? Hello, Cesar. Welcome. Um, is Cesar here? Cesar, are you here? No. No, no, he's, no, veo, tampoco. no he's absent. That's rare. He's usually here on time. Not today. Edith Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Eduardo Najarro. Present Hello. teacher. Thank you and welcome, Eduardo. Um, Elvis Raul. Present teacher. Thank you, Elvis. Um, Emerson. Present. Thank you, Emerson. Um, Stephanie Aparicio. Stephanie Aparicio? No? Okay, let's continue with Fatima Asensio. Thank you and welcome, Fatima. Um, Jaime Aldana. Jaime Aldana? You hear Jaime? Jaime? No? No Jaime today? Okay, let's continue with a uh, Jose. Ella era y bin. Present teacher. Thank you and it's nice to have you one more time, Jose. Karen Ceseña. Karen Ceseña, no? Okay, um, Laura Arce. Present. Thank you, Laura, and welcome. Um, Ma Marvin, Marcel. Present, teacher. Or the, oh, you have three last names, that's impressive. Okay, perfect. You have three last names, uh, Marvin, yes Perfect. or no? Teacher, dice Susan yes. que está teniendo problemas con, con entrar a la plataforma. Oh, 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 I will check that at the end, at the end. Okay, so just let me finish. Thank you so much for letting me know. I appreciate that. Uh, Miguel Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome, Miguel. Um, Morena Fuentes. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Oscar, hello, Oscar. Oscar, are you here? Present teacher. Thank you and welcome. Um, Raquel. Hello, Raquel. Good evening, I'm present. That sounds pretty good. Santiago Chavez. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Um, and then we have Vilma. Hello, Vilma. Good evening. Hello. Let Good me evening, check. teacher. Let me have problema técnico. Oh, oh. La computadora. oh, I'm sorry. What's your name? What, what's Esa your name? Ramirez. Oh, oh, Cesar. Thank you, Cesar, and welcome. It's nice to have you. One more Thank time. You. 
Okay. Teacher, excuse me. Yes, sorry. Uh, last name is apellido, verdad? Yes. Yes. Uh, I don't know name. Three name. No, you have the three last names. That's what I'm seeing. Because it's like Marvin, Fernando, Marcel, Portillo, Prieto. Sí, Portillo, Prieto, dos apellidos. My last name, Portillo, Prieto. Okay. Marcel so, is number, entonces. Oh, so you have three names. Yes. Oh, yes. that's amazing. Three names. That. Which one do you prefer, Marvin? Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, any cualquiera teacher oh it's uh, wonderful look at that my family my family usually uh, names marvin oh. in the high and the this high school mm -hmm. uh, fernando oh marvin una pregunta. yeah so they called you marvin your relatives they called you marvin and at the school you used to be called uh, Fernando. Oh. Una, una pregunta, Marvin. Cuando su mamá estaba enojada con usted, le decía todo su nombre. Tiene un nombre para estar enojada conmigo. Oh, ah, ya, oh, ya identifica. Oh. That yeah. makes sense. That's, that's sí, what hay, I... hay un nombre. Cuando está bien conmigo. Marcelito. Y cuando está enojada conmigo, me dice Fernando. Cuando... That's very good. That's very clever. That's very clever. That's why Aleli was saying, like, like uh, women are really, like, smart people, you know, because that's very clever. Like, she just, like, got one name, and you know when she calls you by that name because she's mad. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Thank you so much, everybody, for participating on this one, uh, and I wish you the best again. We are going to start working with the content. As you may know, we're working with celebrations, right? There is one celebration that is big in the U.S., um, Cesar, do you know what is that big celebration in the U.S.? Cesar? No, le escuché, teacher. ¿Qué oh, okay. Do you know what is that big celebration uh, that people from the U.S. are having this month? Yo si celebro. Uh, no, people from the U.S., people from the U.S., from the United States, they have a big celebration this month. Do you know what is the name of it? Mm, I understand it. Oh, okay, don't worry, we will help. Ya te lo voy a mandar por WhatsApp. Eduardo, Eduardo, can you help me out, please, Eduardo? What is that big celebration? It's Thanksgiving, right? We have Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving celebration is this week at the end, right? As you may know. So everybody in the U.S. is like getting ready for that thing. Okay, Vilma, thank you so much. Thank you so much for letting me know. Yes, they're having like everything like set up and they are going to celebrate this Thanksgiving uh, celebration, which is pretty much amazing. What about Salvadorians? What is the big event we have in this on this weekend? What is something big that Salvadorians are going to celebrate? Raquel Santos. A Black Friday. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe, maybe, right? maybe. maybe. Uh, but there is like everybody. something else, like like I mean, there is something else that like Salvadorian people and like. And a specific, like, let's say, department. Uh, Merry Christmas? No, in, in November. In November, Emerson. There is a big celebration, like, taking... Uh, El Día de los Muertos? No, de November. No, no, no. It's, it's on the weekend. It's on the weekend. It's on the weekend. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a big, like, we have a big department here in El Salvador. Elvis? Uh, I think uh, Carnaval de San Miguel. Exactly. That one. That one is going to be celebrated on this weekend because it's quite the same. It's at the end, like, of, uh, like it's in the last weekend of the month of November. So uh, if you have the chance to go to that thing, that thing is going to be a blast. It's going to be a blast for sure. Carnival um, is always a blast in San Miguel. So if you have the chance to go, do it, right? It also, Raquel, if you want to buy something on Black Friday, is go with the credit card, right? 
enjoy today and pay tomorrow all right <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah but you know just enjoy life if you have the chance to do it do it you know what i mean um oh oh give me a minute i i oh sorry i miss i miss this one okay let's begin with this material we're going to watch a video about celebrations okay uh, which is this one and if you listen and watch and then we will we, we'll discuss about this one okay si no lo ve bien let me know anytime hello and welcome to this week's episode of dinner table the show about food my name is anthony russo and today we're going to be talking about thanksgiving As you know, North America is a huge melting pot. Do you think everyone celebrates Thanksgiving in the same way? Do you think they eat the same foods? Yeah. Let's ask some people and find out. How would you explain Thanksgiving to someone outside of North America? Well, you know, Thanksgiving is a unique holiday. It's kind of a time to sit back relax and a little reflection on how you should be thankful for what you have. Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name's Joe. What do you folks serve for Thanksgiving Day? Traditional Thanksgiving Day meal? Oh yeah, we have the big turkey. We usually have two of them because there's so many of us. <laughs> Cranberry sauce, uh, mashed potatoes, gravy. Yeah, it's great. A lot of food, a lot, a lot of, food. of food. A lot of food. Now Joe, you have a lot of food, a lot of dessert, there must be a lot of dishes and clean up. Do you pitch in? Cleaning is definitely a part of it. You wash dishes, you clean the table, you bring it back into the kitchen. So there's going to be a lot of leftovers. <laughs> nothing, nothing beats leftovers after Thanksgiving. And that lasts you through the weekend? Turkey. Oh, yeah. for the whole week. <laughs> so much food. <laughs> Do you have a favorite part of Thanksgiving? My favorite part of Thanksgiving is coming home and seeing everybody and seeing my grandma, who I love very dearly. That's always nice. Any family traditions that have carried on throughout the years? The main family tradition is probably football. <laughs> because the Detroit Lions always play on Thanksgiving, so my uncle always has to watch the Detroit Lions play. And what food is served on Thanksgiving? Well, we'll have a turkey. We'll also have stuffing and macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes and sweet potatoes, but I don't really like sweet potatoes. <laughs> you got a lot of food there. Must be some leftovers. There are not a whole lot of leftovers by the time Thanksgiving is done. And Grandma gets all of them if there are any. <laughs> Grandma gets all of them. Grandma gets whatever she wants. <laughs> That's great. Any uh, specific dishes that are family tradition? Well, we definitely have the traditional Thanksgiving food, um, turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, but I'm Korean, so we also usually have some sort of rice with kimchi. Kimchi is a definite must because we're Korean. Um, as well as various other um, Korean food, we usually have our relatives like potluck and bring something with them, so whatever they decide to bring. What do you do after the meal? Um, we are usually pretty comatose because of all the food that we've eaten. So we sit around and we usually talk. Sometimes the uh, grown-ups will play um, old Korean card games. Um, and the kids usually just sit around and talk or we go out to a movie. That's usually what we do. Well, have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. How do you spend Thanksgiving, Juan Carlos? I spend Thanksgiving with friends. Sounds nice. With all those friends, there must be some great food. What food is on the menu for Thanksgiving? My friends always cook the traditional Thanksgiving dinner. However, I bring also a dish from my home country, Venezuela. And what dish is that? Maracuchitos, which is plantain with cheese, fried, and uh, very, very delicious. It's always a hit. Mm, sounds good, sounds good. And how about for dessert? I usually also make a uh, sweet from pineapple and papaya. We serve that with ice cream. It is another hit. Wow, sounds like a fantastic meal. It is a big celebration. 
All this talk of food is making me hungry. I'm Anthony Russo from Dinner Table, wishing you and yours a happy Thanksgiving. So it's like happy Thanksgiving for everybody. Okay. Um, questions. Um, let me check. Let tomorrow, me check. teacher. Yeah, it's going to be tomorrow. Exactly. Question I for you. Turkey. Exactly, right? Very good. We have like a big turkey there as part of the traditional food. Ana Cecilia de Perez. Ana Cecilia de Perez. Hello, teacher. Um, thank you. Question for you. Can you let me give me a, like a short explanation about the video? What is this video about, please? Mm. Uh, they celebrate the Thanksgiving and prepare the food delicious uh, as turkey, um, pineapple, and papaya with uh, ice cream. Uh, they spend a time their family and friends. That's it. Thank you so much. Uh, Carmen Guadalupe, thank you. I had it. Laura, thank you so much. And also Vilma, thank you so much. Uh, Jose, in the video, we have the expression melting pot. What is the meaning of that? I couldn't understand it. Oh, okay. Um, Alili, in the video, we got this expression melting pot. Do you know what is the meaning of that? Melting pot. 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 I am. I don't know, but it's a full. Okay. Thank you so much. It's, it's something related to like um, Emerson. Can you help me out with that one, Emerson? Melting no. pot. I don't know, teacher. Okay. Let me let me play one more time the video. Just this short part at the beginning. Let's listen. Hello. And welcome to this week's episode of Dinner Table, the show about food. My name is Anthony Russo, and today we're going to be talking about Thanksgiving. As you know, North America is a huge melting pot. Justo no se ve la letra. Eso, wow. eso, no se ve la letra. No la ven? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Oh, melting pop. Ahora sí. Uh -huh. Ahora sí. Pop. Es que lo que pasa es que cuando, cuando paso el mouse se corta esa cosa. Melting pot. Okay. So it's a huge melting pot. What is the meaning of that? What is in Algún something? Algún encuentro. Okay. Okay. Somebody else, like, somebody else has, like, a different opinion about it. What is melting pot? Elvis, thank you, Elvis. I think um, mezcla de raza, I will see. Exactly. There's something about the different cultures, the different like backgrounds from people that live in the United States. For example, New York. If you take a look of New York, over there, like you have like a like a, a bunch of people coming from different countries, right? And in here. A melting pot is like that. Culture. Exactly. It's like a combination of those different cultures, like Salvadorian, Honduran, Argentinian, I don't know, uh, people from Africa. Venezuela. Venezuela. Venezuela people. And so uh, we have yeah. these different, different cultures, different things. So that's why it's a melting pot. So you can have all of these ones together and pretty much like um, you have traditional things and then you have Pupusas, for example, for example, right? You a have different the food. Exactly. So each country or each people from these countries, they put something like to um, to this uh, American culture uh, from their, like, let's say, original country, right? So that's why it's a melting pot. Oh, and the food uh, original um, for a day is uh, turkey, uh, mashed potato, sweet potato, um, the pie, pie, mm, pie the, apple pie. Uh, um, no, no, it's the calabaza. Oh, pumpkin pie. 
Pumpkin pie, sí. Eh, no, lo que pasa es que ya lo celebré ese día, yo allá. Oh, do you like pumpkin pie, Alele? No, 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 I like them. A sweet, sweet potatoes, yes. Es el camote. Oh. Pero pumpkin pie, no, I like it. You don't like it? Why? Es horrible, no lo paso, la calabaza no la paso. I think Walmart, they sell pumpkin pie here in El Salvador, I guess. Yes, y en San Martín sell. también. Exacto, San Martín. Martín. O sea, que la yo en miel no le gusta. Mm, no, no much. <laughs> no much, okay. And no, much sugar. 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 Okay, uh, can you can you tell me, uh, let me let me get um, Edith Areceli Guzman. Edith, can you tell me something negative about doing like a big celebration at home? What is something negative about doing like a big celebration at home, Araceli? That like we have it in the video. I don't know, teacher. I mean, let's say Araceli. Okay, like when you have like a birthday party at home or when you celebrate Christmas at home and you prepare a bunch of food, what is something negative like you like don't like about that party? I have, uh, I haven't family, weak, weak, weak family. Okay, okay. So do you have a small family or a big family? Like uh, a, small, a small family. Okay, maybe that's the reason why. What about Elvis? Can you help me out with this question? What is something that is somehow negative when you have these big parties at home, Elvis? Um. Many people uh, drink so much alcohol, for example. Alcohol. That's that's true. That's true. Very good. What is another negative? When you when you prepare a lot of food at home, let's work, work with uh, women. Laura, when you prepare a bunch of food at home, right? And you have all your relatives, uh, like all your relative comes to your party. What is something negative about it? I think I think your mic doesn't work, Laura, because I don't hear you. I don't hear your voice. Um, let's work with you, Karen. Karen, thank you. What is something negative when you prepare a bunch of food? What is something negative that you say? Oh, I don't like this thing. Mm, for me, uh, the negative thing. Uh, a lot, a lot of work. What do you mean by a lot of work? Uh, hit, hit, uh, for many people. <laughs> okay. What do you think about washing the dishes at the end of the party? Repeat, please. What do you think about washing the dishes at the end of the party? Do you know what is the meaning of washing the dishes? Yes. Uh, uh, sometimes. Okay. Uh, it does something good for you or you don't like it? Uh, usually, uh, disposal, I guess, disposal place. We use disposal uh, place. Hmm? Just usually. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Emerson, are you there? Thank you so much. It sure can be a uh, clean the house. Mm. Exactly. What about wash, washing the dishes, Emerson? Do you like that thing? No, I don't like it. Yeah, pretty much when we have a bunch of pans, right? A bunch of cacerolas. We don't love. We I don't like to do that thing. It's something that no, I ni las pachas tampoco. 
That was too much. Okay. I will relax. That was too much. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. So this, this video is about Thanksgiving and how the people in the U.S. celebrate this day. Right? We're going to have some practice about holidays. Here we have these examples. You are going to do like some examples like this one. You have these holidays in here, right? Uh, look at this information. Carmen, Guadalupe, Camilla. Look at these examples here, Carmen. Okay? Yes. Can you read these instructions from the beginning? Please, thank you. Carmen? Hello, Carmen? Hello, Carmen Guadalupe? Carmen Guadalupe, can you participate? No? Carmen? Carmen? Uh, Houston? No, I think she's busy. Cecilia. Thank you, Cecilia Romero. Thank you so much. Can you help me reading this information? My own holiday, okay? Okay, teacher. Speaking, my own holiday. Pay work, shoes, one of these imaginary holidays or create your own. Then write a description of the holiday, ask where the question below. Yes, continue, please. World is May Day. All you can eat K Day. V letter for some time day. What is the name of the holiday? When is it? How do you celebrate it? Thank you World. so much. Okay. Thank you so much, Gregor. Okay, we have imaginary holidays. Right, or you can create your own holiday, right? What are you going to do in that description? You are going to answer these three questions. What's the name of the holiday? What is it? And how do you celebrate that? You have these examples here, but you can create your own holiday, right? Uh, be late for something day, <laughs> all you can eat, cake day. And then you have the description this description, right? You, so you have the, the day here, and then you have description. I'm sorry, what is the name of the holiday? When is it? Here you have the date. And how do you celebrate that? And then you have a little description of this one. So you are going to like select one of these ones or create your own holiday. Create your own holiday, right? Maybe you can have a lazy day, right? Or maybe you can have a garden day. I don't know. It's up to you. Right? It's up to you. The thing you need to like figure it out is like how are you going to describe it and also when is that thing? Do you understand the activity? Do you understand the activity? Do you have a question about this? Yeah, as a teacher, excuse me. Yeah. I working in the um, chat room. No. Vamos a trabajar en los, los rooms? No. Oh, no, no. You need to do it individually. Okay. Individually. Yeah. Individually. So you just create your own day and then you describe it like answering these three questions. Okay. When you have it ready, let me know. Bridget, ¿entendió cómo va a ser this activity? Eduardo, More or less, teacher. Explíqueme cómo lo va a hacer. You, please, thank you. Tengo que, tengo que... En el mes que estamos ahorita, un día de, de celebración. Yes, yes. De estos tres, puede elegir uno o puede crear your own day celebration. Ah, ok, teacher. Y luego, en la descripción, tiene que contestarme estas three questions. What is the name of the holiday? When is that? And how do you celebrate that? How do you celebrate that? Yes? Yes, teacher. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. When you're ready, just raise in your hand. November, November, teacher. In November. No, you can select, like, uh, whatever you want. You can do it, like, in, like, I don't know, May maybe June, I don't know. At the end, it's, it's your celebration, you know what I mean? 
teacher, so en, okay. teacher mm -hmm. entiendo yes. que voy a crear voy a crear un evento mm -hmm. y voy a considerar los tres aspectos que señala el nombre de la celebración cuándo la voy a celebrar um, and how do you celebrate that ajá, ajá. y qué celebro mm -hmm. cómo cómo okay. cómo how do you ¿Cómo? celebrate cómo okay thank you teacher like if you like do something like a party or I don't know if you prepare food or if you wear customs, right? Or if you travel, right? What was the name of that festival, Aleli? Like Boston, you tell me, or Detroit? Um, I know I've read it now. Este, ¿Quiere que le explique o okay. No, no, I'm talking about, you told me last class uh, that you went oh, okay. to a festival in the U.S. And what is the place of that festival? Mm. It, it's John 15 in USA. In El Salvador, uh, November 11, 11 November, the last date is cool. Oh, what is the name of it? Mm. At the finish the class. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. but I'm, talk I'm talking about like uh, the last. Mm -hmm. I think there was one class where you told me like um, in the U.S. like there is a festival that you like, which is mm -hmm. celebrating, I guess, in Holy Week, right? In that month, I guess. Okay. Uh, what What was the place of that? Um, let's say um, celebration. The United States. Do you remember the place? <laughs> a warm smile day. I like. No, no. Uh, uh, es que me dijo que había un festival in the United States que usted fue. Ah, the Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Where, where is that celebrated? What, what is the place? On the um, in New Orleans, in the street, um, in the New Orleans. Orleans. Uh, yes. In um, Inicia um, ¿qué? Inicia en el, el ¿cómo se llama? El, el barrio francés, el downtown de French Quarter y um, en, uh, quiero ver en todo lo que es el centro de la, de la ciudad, mm -hmm. incluyendo algunos barrios conocidos y son carrozas en las que van tirando regalos como peluches, collares, eh, vasos uh, a toda la gente. Y también regalan muestras de las, de las que van patrocinando las carrozas. Y de ahí se tomó la idea original para hacer el carnaval de San Miguel. El señor que lo, lo organizó había ido a Estados Unidos y había participado en, en la festividad de Mardi Gras. Y el día que terminan las festividades de Mardi Gras es el día miércoles de ceniza. Ese día se terminan las festividades y quedó un basural horrible en, en las calles. Al siguiente día de, pues, de miércoles de ceniza hay una festividad que se llama la de las escobas, en donde todo, pasan todas las gentes con sus escobas barriendo y pasa la barredora recogiendo lo que las personas han sacado a la calle. Muy interesante. That's very interesting. That's mm -hmm. very interesting. Oh, yeah. Before, before Viernes de Ceniza, you tell me, right? Yeah. Ese oh. es el día que termina. I think Ceniza is ash. Es una ash. semana, uy, súper interesante, porque es toda una semana de celebraciones. Y cada semana, mm -hmm. uh, cada día hay un patrocinador. Y por lo general se escoge a un artista o a un actor actor o a cantante famoso de Estados Unidos para que sea el rey, el rey del festival. Y yo fui el, la vez que decidieron llamar a um, Woody Walter, ella, ella fue la reina de la, del, del festival. Oh, when was that? Um, what? When was that? Uh, Woody Walter? Uh, no, I mean, when? What was the ah, time uy, when you were there? Uh, 
I know, I know, I remember the years. Oh, Whippy Weaver, she's amazing. Yes. I love her, yes. she's fantastic. Yes, it's she very a nice. She okay. has a program that is called The View. Okay, mm -hmm. and I used to watch that program just to learn English, because it's in English, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So uh, she's like fantastic, a really good yeah. actress. And also yes. she's like, um, she's very, very famous, very much. Um, yeah, so it's do you remember the day? Body. Do you remember the year? Mm, no, 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 remember. Okay. Thank you so much for letting me know that information. I mean, it's like fantastic how like these yeah. things are celebrated from the, in different places. And then we got them here in the Salvador, right? Okay, when you finish with your description about your, your day, um, let me know so you can participate. Emerson, thank you so much. Inicio? Oh, yes, please do it. Okay. My name of the, my holiday is my birthday. I celebrate in on November 12th. We celebrate as a family. We get together to eat cake and free ranch uh, chicken because I love fried chicken and a special nugget. So you love fried chicken? Fried chicken. Like pollo campero is your favorite one? Yes, I like. Yeah, that thing is delicious, right? Delicious but not nutritious. Just keep in mind that. Delicious but not nutritious. I don't know why fast food is so delicious, but it's not nutritious. Miguel, are you ready? Yes. Okay, please begin. Uh, you can hit cake day. What is the name of the party? Children's Day celebration. When is uh, one on one October? How do you celebrate? Distribution cake while all the brothers. Uh, Cousins in the family until you can not anymore. Very good. You have a few mistakes in pronunciation, uh, Miguel, but that was very good. Does, don't forget with the structure, it's on June and then you say the number, right? Is on, I don't know, July, is on November, and then you say the number, okay? Um, Cecilia, thank you, Cecilia. Okay, teacher. Uh, it is my son's birthday. Uh, it is February 6th. Uh, we meet a family in Caluco, Sonsonate, uh, uh, eating chicken. Cake, uh, so limit. <laughs> yes. Okay, so so you have you have like food. The kind of food that you have is chicken and cake, right? Yes. And and like you go with your with your family to one place, right? To Caluco. That's what you told me. Yes. Oh, that's very good. In family, uh huh. Family, um, friends. Oh, with family and friends. How family, many, family and friend. Aha, uh -huh. Acaluco Sonsonate. Yes. The celebration. Ahí. Uh -huh. okay. That's good. Okay. Is it something big or small, let's say? Eh, perdón. Excuse me? Excuse I mean, me? Is, is the celebration big or ah, like uh, People, mm, ten, 10 people. Oh, so this is kind of like yeah. just this is a small reunion, right? A young small, meeting. Sí, pequeño. Sí, reunión pequeño. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Your birthday, okay. like your son's birthday, your son's birthday. Very good. Thank you so much. Somebody's writing in the chat. Okay, Bilba, I'm sorry to hear about it. Okay. That happens sometimes. Morena Fuentes, you're next. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Thank you. April 6th is a day when we celebrate my birthday. And we made a special meeting with me with my family. 
we usually make uh, chicken soup, a salad, a strawberry cake, which is my favorite. Uh, it's a, a special day for me and I thank God uh, for life. Oh, that's so nice of you. Is that like Cayena India soup? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, yes. that thing is amazing. It's right? my five. It's my favorite. Oh, that's true. It's like it's, it's so delicious. That thing. Thank okay. you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing that. That's very nice of you. Um, thank you, teacher. Elvis, thank you, Elvis. Okay, this uh, celebration is imaginary. Uh, my own holiday is on February twenty nine. I celebrate each four years. This is day of crazy moon, and I celebrate sleeping until 8 a.m. Uh, at noon, I have lunch. We cook tacos in barbecue. At night, we have fireworks, and next, I'm going to bed. Oh, sounds pretty amazing. Sounds very amazing, right? And that was very creative, by the way. Thank you so much. Great job. Cesar, you're next, Cesar. Right, my day. Yes, Godfather Day. Godfather Day, it, it is a day that is celebrated for all the parents of the war in you celebrate on June 17th. And, and my son, uh, you know, no con, so how do you say? Um, me alegra con un regalo. <laughs> Siempre, todos los años. Um, well, I, I get happy, like, yeah. when, uh, when I get a present. All right, and I get a present, yes. Okay, very good. This is Father's Day celebration, right, Cesar? Yes. That is your holiday. Very good. Do you have, do you have children, Cesar? Uh, I have, I have a children, one children. One? A boy. Mm -hmm. a boy. What's his name? Uh, it's Mateo. Mateo. How old is Mateo? Mateo Alexander. How old is Mateo? How old? Eight. Eight years old. Eight years old. Yeah. What yeah. is something, what is something that you like, like, you really like about your son something like i mean obviously you love him right but what is something that you really like about about him like something that is like over the top um no 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 understand <laughs> like, like, de, de todo lo que usted ama a su hijo cuál es algo que está sobre de todo que usted dice oh this is incredible right is 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 intelligent Oh, he's very smart. That's very good. The first, uh, the first, uh, is, um, ahora fue la clausura en, en, en la escuela y se llevó el primer lugar. En, oh, en that's la, wonderful. Segundo grado. Oh, yeah. very good. I mean, I, 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 congratulations. Um, so, <laughs> thank so, you so much. Oh, so he <laughs> made your day, right? He me made llena, your day. Me de orgullo, o sea, realmente. Oh, so you're proud. Proud of him. Perfect. Good. Right. Are you a good? Are you a, are you a good father, Cesar? Uh, uh, solido. solido. You you do your best, yeah. right? You do your best. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. Thank you so much, Cesar. I'm sorry. All right. So we're for being summer teacher. I just need you to practice your English, okay? Karen, thank you, Karen. You're next. My my next holiday is Christmas party for employees in my work. Uh, usually, is celebrate the last Saturday and Sunday of November. Uh, we travel to the beach, usually to Royal de Cameron, Salinita. Oh my gosh. 
Wow, eh, the, mira. <laughs> eh, the day eh, we eat, eh, rest and enjoy a lot of with our workers, co-workers, co-workers. Um, sounds pretty good. So on the weekend, this weekend, you're going to celebrate that, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sounds pretty much amazing. Look at that, people, right? Look at that. She's going to have a bunch of seafood at the Camino Salinitas. Amazing, right? Thank you so much for sharing. That's wonderful. I wish you the best, okay? Bridget, thank you. You're next, Bridget. Hi, teacher. Uh, where I like uh, celebrate nights of peace, harmony, and security. Um, when is it the December two and three? Uh, how do you celebrate the Christmas begins? Do, Bridget, do you prefer some food for that day or, or something special for that day? Uh, bread and chicken. Oh, sounds pretty good. Good, good, good. Yeah, everybody loves chicken, right? Panes con pollo, we call them here in the South in December. Thank you so much, Bridget, for sharing that. Marvin, you're next. Thank you. The, the celebration is Halloween. It's October 31. With my family at home, we dress up as favorite characters. At night we go we go up to see our own movies. What was what was your last question for this party, Marvin? What what was your last question for this party? Batman. Excuse me? Batman? Oh, Batman. Oh, very good. Oh, that sounds very good. Yeah, Halloween. Like some people celebrate Halloween, right? A lot, uh, which is pretty much very good, right? And, and if you have the chance to celebrate like a birthday party, uh, everything that you celebrate, like that's good. If you have a chance to spend time with your relatives and close friends, you do it. You know what I mean? Enjoy life, be happy. Don't worry about things, right? Just be happy, right? Because sometimes we don't know. Like um, time goes really fast. People like passed away suddenly. We don't we don't even know when are they going to be uh, like here with us. So try to enjoy as much as possible every time you have a chance. Okay, let me see what else do I have for you. We have this exercise. Okay, I need you to like save it. So that means um, take a screenshot of this one so you can practice um, scramble these sentences, like the first one. You have a bunch of vocabulary here and you need to then make sentences like this one. Okay, so toma la lectura porque voy a tomar la attendance again y luego we can uh, solve this thing uh, together. Okay, so toma la lectura ahí. And be ready with the attendants one more time. You got it? Yeah, oh. Sorry, yeah. eh, estoy desde una tablet. No sé cómo tomarle captura. Oh, si alguien le toma captura, se lo envía al grupo, please. So, so your classmates can have it. That would be good. Okay, if you know, you'll be later today. Don't worry. So, um, let me check the attendants here. What do I have the document? Give me a minute. Hmm. Okay, it's gonna be this one. Okay, Aleli, thank you. I am here. Thank you, Ana Rodriguez de Perez. Okay. Thank you, Ana Romero de Dominguez. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Ana Janira Mendoza. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Bridget um, Lisette. 
I'm thank here, you. teacher. Thank you, Bridget. Um, Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Carmen. Oh, thank you so much. Let me check really quick. Thank you so much for letting me know. Carmen Guadalupe, yeah, she's here. Thank you so much for letting me know. Because, um, and also we have Cesar. Um, Ed Guzman, thank you, Cesar. Edith Guzman. Guzman, Edith. Um, Present Ed teacher. Thank you so much. Eduardo Najarro. Present teacher. Elvis uh, Rauda. Emerson. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Jamilet Aparicio. Stephanie, no. What about um, Fatima Asensio? Uh, Fatima. Uh, Jaime Aldana. Present teacher, soy Fatima. Thank you, Fatima. Welcome. Uh, Jaime Aldana, not today. Um, uh, Jose Eraibin, I think you're here, right? Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen uh, Ceseña. Present. Thank you, Karen. Nice to have you one more time. Um, Laura Arce. Uh, Present teacher. Marvin Marcel Portillo. Present teacher. Miguel Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Morena Fuentes de Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Oscar Rodríguez Linares. Present teacher. Uh, thank you. Raquel Santos. Um, I'm present. I'm Santiago present. Chavez. And also Vilma. Okay. Uh, Okay. Okay, let me show you again. Okay, this exercise is about um scramble. We're working with relative clauses of time, as you may know, right? So if you notice, if you notice, thank you, Carmen, and also Vilma. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, if you notice, here we're working with um, these conjunctions. So we're working with uh, classes of time. Here we have when, and this one, like in the first one, right? When. So just you need to be careful where you are going to write this one. And this one, you can write it like at the beginning of the sentence, or you can write it in the middle, right? At the end, it means the same. It means the same, but just be careful when you have it in the middle, there is no comma needed. But when you have it at the beginning of the sentence, yes, you need a comma uh, between the two sentences, between the main clause and the second clause. Okay, so just be careful with that. Um, do you have a question about this exercise? Again, this is about just for you to practice uh, the 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 like the thing that we've been practicing in this um, section number three, all right, which is about relative clauses of time, okay? Um, I don't know if you have a question about this. Is everything good? Um, so um, do this exercise at home when, when you get the time, right? Again, this is not evaluated. You don't have to send me anything. Just do it for practice. And if you have a doubt about one of these ones, just uh, text me. And uh, as soon as I get the answer, I will send it to you, okay? Um, so I can help you out with this one. People, don't forget to practice your English at home or at your workplace. Um, little by little, practice your English, right? Uh, it's something that you learn, try to do it, practice it, because um, that's the only way. Use everything you learn, everything you get, use it. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Don't be afraid of your pronunciation. Just do it. Use your English everywhere as much as possible. And obviously, right, as you may know, enjoy your night. Take care. We will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you so much for being here. Bye bye. Thank you, people. Good night. El mundial. <laughs>
Señores, señores, señores. Ay, Dios, Santiago. 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 Santiago.